Day 10. Day 10, I think. Yeah. Day 10. Didn't sleep that well last night. Um, that's thanks to the neighbours who, for some reason, think that it's okay to be quiet as mouses in the daytime, but at night time, start an effing carnival. But anyway, whatevs, I'm awake now. Weight's back up 0.4, so it's 162 on the button today. But you know what? The shred is coming back. The shred is coming back. So don't watch the weight. Don't watch the weight because weight fluctuates up and down. And here's a quick thing. Someone asked me, why am I just using weight as my determining factor in this cut? Because there are meth other methods. There's photos, which I'll use at the beginning at the end, and there's measurements. And I do photos, weight, and measurements with all my clients. I'm personally using weight because I know when I, before I went to Thailand, I was around 158, 159. I came back 164. So I know that just getting that, those four or five pounds off will be back to where I was. I don't need to be taking consistent waist measurements every week, every two weeks. But if you're one of my clients and you have quite a fair bit of body fat to lose, yes, I'm gonna have you doing hip and waist measurements. So I'm just using weight, but normally it'd be photos, weight, and um, measurements. Okay, work, pull workout, let's do it. Back from a coffee, did some work, too busy to do a full workout today, haven't got time. I'm gonna do about 50 chin-ups later at the back, but you don't need to see me do that. So we're back to the whiteboard, back for some education. And today we're talking calorie deficit. This is the only thing that matters when losing fat, okay? When losing fat and getting lean and being in a fat loss phase, it's all about the calorie deficit. So quick example, we have Julie here. Julie's a nice lady, she's helping us out today. She's got an army haircut, if you can see that. I'm not sure if you can, but I don't know why she's got that, but who cares? Her maintenance calorie number is 2,000 calories, right here. And that's the amount of calories she needs to maintain her current body weight, okay? Her, her current body composition, so that's her being alive, getting up, going to work, being active, going to the gym. If she has 2,000 calories, that maintains her current body weight. Now, if she goes north of that, and we're saying now she's starting to consume 2,400 calories a day, she's in a calorie surplus, and she's gonna start storing body fat, right there. Okay, so in a calorie surplus, you're gonna start storing body fat. Simple as that. And if you wanna lose body fat, which is the majority of people, most people wanna get leaner, get toned, they're gonna to have to go set off the maintenance and be in a calorie deficit. Here, calorie deficit, she's at 1800 calories. And it's written in red to show that it burns fat. And I did it with this red marker, very creative. I know, I thought of that all on my own. But, guys, I wanna hammer home the message that the calorie deficit is what's paramount. It's not about a certain food, a certain exercise, a supplement, um, a green juice fast, slimming world, Weight Watchers, the body coach, all that crap. It's about being in a calorie deficit. That's all that matters. So if you wanna lose body fat, find out your maintenance, go into a calorie deficit and have the right amount of macronutrients. Good amount of protein, good amount of fat, good amount of carbs. Boom, done, I'm back to work. The first meal of the day looks like this. I've got one wholemeal toasted roll and I whipped up some high protein hummus. This is really tasty. Basically, I am writing my new recipe book at the moment. Loads of macro friendly recipes. And this is one of my recipes and it's really quick, simple and easy. High protein hummus, really good with bread. And then I'm gonna finish off with an apple. Continuation of meal one, you know how we do. Chocolate protein oats every day. Nearly every day. Yep, it's working. Okay, I've been working hard all day. I've been grinding it out on the computer. Had a little break, did some chin-ups and stuff, but um, I've got something on my mind that I want to talk about before I go and cook myself some dinner and finish off my macros. Uh, and that is, what are non-negotiables? What are your non-negotiables? Because I heard uh, an online entrepreneur who I really look up to and, and, and learn from, like to learn from, I, I heard his uh, talk on this and, you know, what things will you allow what things won't you allow and my non-negotiables at the moment is my business and my health and fitness like i'm there's not a day that goes by that i don't work on my business creating online content writing my recipe book working on ways to expand my reach uh, and grow my business and also i'm not going to let my workout slide either even though i'm really busy with work i'm not going to let my workout slide my, my nutrition slide these two things are non-negotiables for me at the moment in my life and I want to ask you, what are your non-negotiables at the moment? What, what won't you put up with? Or what won't you allow to happen? Because I won't allow my um, business not to be worked on and not, and not grown every day. I'm not going to allow my workouts to, to uh, fall by the wayside 
and, and let them slip because I'm busy. These two are musts in my life and they make me feel good. I feel good when I'm being productive with my business and I feel good when I'm being productive with my workouts and my health and nutrition. So these two things support each other, they make me feel good and these are my non-negotiables. Of course I have bigger ones as well, like how I won't let people treat me a certain way or I won't let bills go unpaid or whatever. But at the moment, the core non-negotiables for my life is growing and working my business every single day and also hitting the gym and keeping my nutrition in check. What are yours? What makes you feel good? What makes you feel happy? Um, what makes you feel productive? Think about it, maybe let me know. Anyway. Time to go cook dinner. This is how we're rolling with dinner tonight. Vegan chickpea curry with a bit of white rice underneath. Topping off the macros like what? Greek yogurt, honey, ovs. Whole time for the macro check. Carbohydrates, pretty much on the money. Fat, pretty much on the money. Protein, one gram over, we're done. If you like the video, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you tomorrow.